Hello everyone, today I am here at Pizzeria L'Italiano and I am going to have lunch here this afternoon with all of you. Um, it looks like a great place, the, the owner speaks uh, Italian fluently, so she's invited me in for an early lunch this afternoon and we're going to go inside, I haven't been in yet, um, but it smells really good, they're making pizza, they have pasta, they have everything, so um, this is the Italian spot here in Evra, and I am in love with this town. It is my favorite new town in Europe, so definitely need to come here for sure. But let's go inside and have some yummy pizza. to have um, my very first Portuguese beer which the bartender has informed me is no longer a Portuguese beer because Belgian Belgium has purchased it uh, but it's Chag Chagres I think is the, pr the pronunciation it smells good it's a it's the kind of day you need a beer mm. it tastes very nice they've brought me oh they're really hot they're really hot rolls with garlic butter. The moment has come. I am about to taste this delicious looking pizza bolognese. So it's bolognese sauce with mozzarella. Wow. That's really good. It tastes like pasta on a pizza. And apparently the chef the owner's husband is Sicilian, so he knows what he's doing. We're gonna stick to the bechamela trend, or the uh, bolognese trend. They've just brought me out some pasta al forno, which is made very differently than the way I know it. Um, so they have uh, peas in it. I've never heard of peas being in it. With ham, mozzarella, penne, bechamela, and the bolognese sauce. So it's piping hot, because it just came out of the oven. But let's try this because I'm curious. Mm. I like this even better than the pizza. Oh my god. Okay, well, I am finished now here at L'Italiano Pizzeria uh, here in Evra. And I have had a great time. The staff could not be nicer. It's a family run business. Um, the mother, the father are the owners. Um, they have their son working. Um, and then they have a nice. A really nice uh, bartender waitress who is fluent in English. Um, something that the owner wants me to let you guys know is that they speak three languages here fluently aside from Portuguese. So they speak English, German, and Italian. Um, that's how I've been communicating with the owner is in Italian and then with the waitress in English. Um, the beer was delicious. The pasta was even better than the pizza and the pizza was really good. Um, I like the environment. Uh, the, they've got like kind of a rustic Italian sort of a, a feel to the, the place, thank you. And um, everybody is very, very hospitable and very friendly. So this is the kind of place that you feel very welcome and, uh, and comfortable having a lunch or a dinner in. And I'm sure it's very nice in the evenings too, in the evening too with the lighting and everything. So they have wines, a selection of wines to choose from. They have um, alcohol for making cocktails, I assume. They make cocktails and they have beers um, and they have a, a long list of pizzas and um, calzones, um, calzones and they have uh, a list of pastas so 
The next time you're in Evra, make sure to stop in here at Pizzeria Italiano and make sure to tell them that Lisa sent you. And until next time, everybody, don't get lost without me.